Hi and welcome back to Bob's Little Sports Shop. I'm Ethan and today we're going to go over bullet basics. So there's four basic components to a cartridge. A pistol, rifle, shotgun cartridge. They're all the same, but we're going to go over those today. The first thing you have is your casing. So this is your casing from here back. You also have your bullet head itself, which is right here. The indentation in the center there is your primer, and then inside of the bullet itself is your powder. So the way this would ignite is your firing pin would hit the back of the bullet, it would strike the primer, it would start basically a small fire inside of the casing itself, which would then slowly burn through, igniting the powder in, inside of the casing itself. The pressure would build in there, releasing the bullet and sending the bullet out. There's two different types of primers that you'll find on bullets. There's rim fire and center fire. Center fire is easy because it is in the center of the cartridge. So their primer is right there in the center of the bullet. On a rim fire cartridge, the entire rim of the cartridge actually contains the powder. So that would be like a 22 casing to where there's powder around the entire rim of the cartridge. So your firing pin can strike anywhere on the edge of that rim and will ignite the cartridge. So you have your center fire cartridge and this is an example of a rim fire cartridge. This is a 22 LR. So the rim of this cartridge right here is what the firing pin can strike. So a couple things that can happen that can go wrong when you're shooting, a couple different ammunition failures. The first one we're going to talk about is a misfire. When you pull the trigger and the firing pin strikes the cartridge, nothing happens. So the gun doesn't go off. A misfire is basically a dead primer. So on a center fire cartridge like this, it will create a dent in the primer, it won't ignite any fire, and the, the round won't won't actually leave the gun. So what you do with that is continue to hold the gun down range 30 to 45 seconds. It could be either a misfire to where the bullet just doesn't work at all or it could lead into a hang fire which we'll talk about next. But hold the gun down range, wait for that 30 to 45 seconds to pass by, remove the round from the gun and put it in a safe spot. Like in our, our range we have an ammo can that we put misfires in. So a hang fire would be if you're waiting that 30 to 45 seconds and then the gun goes off. So you have possibly some wet powder or it wasn't loaded correctly. The firing pin strikes, nothing happens for a few seconds, and then the gun goes off. That is a hang fire. The other one that can happen is called a squib load. This can happen with factory ammunition, but it doesn't happen often with modern technology, but typically it will happen with reloaded ammunition. You're reloading your bullets and you don't put the correct amount of powder in, you put too little powder. And what happens there is this bullet is actually pressed into the case, so you can't pull this, this bullet out of the casing. So what would happen is if you didn't have enough powder in the casing, when you fire, there's not enough power to actually push the round either out of the casing itself, or what it can do is it can push it out of the casing and into your barrel, and what happens in the barrel is it basically gets stuck. It doesn't have enough power to go to leave the barrel. So a squib load would be bullet would leave the, the casing of the bullet and get wedged in the barrel. Typically, if that were to happen when you're shooting, you're going to be shooting and it's going to the gun space is going to go bang, bang, pop. That pop is because the gun isn't going to recoil like it normally would because there's not enough pressure or powder in the bullet. So what you need to do is clear the squib load check with the gunsmith to make sure that the barrel is is totally obstructed and safe to fire after that but that would be an example of a squib load so one of the things that can happen with a 22 cartridge primarily is a misfire and that would be where when the firing pin strikes it obviously nothing happens now since the powder on these is all around the bottom of the cartridge a lot of times what i'll do with a 22 is if it doesn't if i strike the firing pin right at the top here and the round doesn't go off, I'll eject the round, turn it a little bit, reload the round, and fire again. And typically, it'll go off. You can do that with center fire ammunition, but it typically, if it doesn't go the first time, it's not gonna go the second. But with the rim fire, just rotating it, get it a different spot for your firing pin to land on, usually you can get a round to fire. Thanks for watching our video today on bullet basics. Please like our videos, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks.